It's a figure dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. A place where women's wrestling figures rule the figure kingdom where Mare Aaron and Comare Alexa are the governing bodies. It lies between reality and imagination. Sometimes, things aren't as they seem. You're about to enter the Twilight Zone. Meet Mayor Aaron, a lonely yet content YouTuber, accompanied only by Comer Alexa. His job is to review women's wrestling figures. His purpose is to increase awareness and raise the respect level of women's wrestling figures in the collecting community. But what he will soon find out is sometimes mistakes can be made that haunt him forever. Can he be redeemed? This can only be determined in the Twilight Ville. Welp, Comer Alexa, I just made room on my NXT shelf for Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. Are you going to replace the basic 114 with the Elite? Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't know. Don't you love that basic? You gave it a 9.5 score. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a cool basic, but definitely not worth a 9.5. That was honestly a mistake. That basic's more like a 7.5 or an 8. 9.5. Okay, okay, I get it, Comer Lex, all right? I was just a little excited at the time. It was her first figure in the line. I think that's why I gave it such a high score. The internet lives forever, you know. People will always see how high of a score you gave it and the mistake you made. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's late. We better get some sleep. We got that figure coming tomorrow. I give Basic Series 114 Rhea Ripley a score of a 9.5 out of 10. Now I know that's really high, but in all actuality, if these legs were more muscular and more realistic to how her legs actually look, it'd be a 10 out of 10 as far as a women's basic figure goes. Alright, I gotta make things right. When I get that Elite Rhea Ripley tomorrow, I gotta go really in-depth, make sure I give her the proper score. Welp, come here, Alexa. Looks like I got a lead 84 Rhea Ripley. It's time to make things right. I'm going to give this thing the proper score. So overall, I give Elite Series 84 Rhea Ripley a score of a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, what'd you expect, Mayor Aaron? You gave the basic a 9.5. This Elite's a 9.5 as well. You can't escape fate. It's going to happen. A 9.5? Yeah, a uh, 9.5. You see, I saw this premonition in my head, but, but I promise this time it deserves it. The face scan, the hair sculpt, the attire, I mean, I, I really think it's going to deserve the 9.5 that I think I'm going to give it. Well, open her up to do a review and see if you're right. You know what? I think that's why I've been having these visions, because I think this score on the Elite is going to be justified. It's going to make everyone forget about that high score that I gave that Rhea Ripley basic. I'll never forget your mistake. Yeah, I know. That's why sometimes you can be a turd. But at the end of the day, you're my turd. Come here. Love you, Comair Alexa. Now, if you excuse me, I have a figure to review. Gross. Rhea Ripley basic 114 and 9.5 my ass. Hey y'all, welcome to Lumberjillville. Women's Wrestling lives here. Now today, I'm very excited to review Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. Will it get a 9.5 like my premonition said in the intro? We'll find out. But first things first, let's take a closer look. 
All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this box because the box has been a little different in these Elites the last few series. Now, the main difference is this controversial little piece of cardboard that overlaps with this hologram sticker. Now, this seems like it got smaller in size than when it first appeared, I believe, in Elite 81. But either way, it doesn't bother me. I, th I think it's fine, honestly. Um, and I don't really understand why it does bother people, but hey, to each their own. And also what they've included is this photo of the wrestler that's in the box. So that's awesome. Now, something I want to point out is obviously I open all my figures. If I really want to keep one man on card, I'll buy an extra. But it's a little confusing to me because this looks awesome. Displayed men on a card. But why is her entrance vest off to the side and not on her? I just, I'm really interested in that choice. Maybe it's because... The arm articulation would be limited by the vest. I mean, we'll find out once we get her out of the box. But either way, it's kind of bizarre. I also wish they would have had the NXT Women's Championship front and center. I think that really would have added to the display of this figure. But either way, we're going to take her out and get a closer look. But there's the side of the box. There's the other side. And then we have a little bio on the back. So let's get to the fun part. Let's take her out. Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. This attire is from the Worlds Collide NXT vs. NXT UK pay-per-view on January 25th, 2020, where she defeated Tony Storm to retain the NXT Women's Championship. Y'all, before I do the usual closer look at her face, her attire accessories, I just want to tell you that I am blown away by this figure. This is very cool, and I can't wait to show y'all up close exactly how it looks. But before we do that... I want to show you the accessories she does come with. Even though I wish she came with the NXT Women's Championship because on this uh, night that this attire is based off of, the NXT versus NXT UK Worlds Collide, she retained her NXT Women's Championship, and I just picture her with this look holding that title. So she has her little signature rock and roll hands. She can't really cross her arms, kind of get in the position that she does in her entrance. Um, but it looks great. Now, the other set of hands she comes with are just semi-open, and they do have the nails painted black, which is awesome. And then she has this really amazing entrance vest. So, if you look closely, there's molded spikes up on the shoulder and on the front with a little hint of silver painted in there. And then it's got this strap hanging off in the front. Very unique. Little studs molded on there. And then these chains are molded and that's probably the most unique part of this vest now on the back it's also got the Australian flag and this little chain going across now that being said let's see how hard it is to put on her and we got one arm and I know obviously you can pop the hands off and do it that way but I just want to do a little quick sneak peek and see how it does Start. Boop, boop, boop. okay I might your boy might need to uh Redo this. Okay. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So the first thing I'm going to say is this face scan freaking rules. I love when they put personality into these face scans and sculpts. And Rhea Ripley is a prime example of that. Because she's got this little arrogant little smirk. Little badass smirk. And I love that. Now, obviously, from all angles, this face scan... And face sculpt is pretty perfect in my opinion. Now the one thing I am going to point out is if this attire was based on that when Worlds Collide pay-per-view, she should have a little bit of hair on the sides. It shouldn't be completely, completely bald and shaved. And more often than not, she had very, very thin hair on the side. So maybe they could have painted that a little bit to resemble that really short hair, but... Either way, it's cool that we get this unique slicked back hair mold that is different than her basic. Now, something also that is very interesting is her ear. She has her signature little gauge going through here. It's kind of funky how they did it, but it does look good. And then she has her little ear gauges at the bottom. Now, if you did notice on the side of the head, there's a little bit of a glue mishap, a little glue problem there, I think. But that should clean right off. So like I said, this is near perfect. I mean, I absolutely love this face scan. The only thing, I feel like there should be a little bit of a lightish blonde or brown paint on the side to simulate really short hair. And I think that would have really improved it. But otherwise, it, it looks great. Alright, so now let's take a closer look at what I think is awesome. Extremely awesome in this figure. And it's her attire. 
I mean, there's a lot to cover, so we're going to break it down old school LJV review style and do a section on her upper body and a section on her lower body. Now, starting off with that upper body, this is what she looks like with that vest on. And the vest looks great and fits her nice and snug. It wasn't too hard to get on either, despite my struggles in the video. Now, it is still a wonder to me why she didn't come packaged with it on. But anyway, that being said, taking a closer look from the top here, she has this black choker type necklace that I believe would be removable if you take her head off, which I don't know why you would. But she also has little silver details painted on. She has these removable molded black gauntlets with little silver molded studs. Now these can come off if you remove the hands. And then taking this vest off is actually not hard. You just boom, 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 boom. All right, the gauntlets are the only thing that kind of holds it up. So boom, look at this top. This top is awesome. So there are molded straps to this and it kind of forms down into the skin. So there's not really a defined ledge on her top. But either way, they do have molded straps that honestly go all the way around. Look at that unique molding in the laces in the back, the little ties. And then moving down here in her midsection here, this is a molded t-shirt mold. And it goes around and that's a molded tie. So I honestly don't mind that this top doesn't appear to be very thick molding because it is a tight shirt and it simulates that well. And it says R.A. Ripley in great, great detail. So this upper body rules. So moving on to her lower body attire, the first thing I am going to say, and it's hard to tell because they put so much detail in the lower extremity, but her legs look way too skinny once again. Like she's a very muscular woman very strong and just like her basic the legs just look so so thin it's weird kind of weird anyway looking up close here she has this nice thick molded belt i said thick really bizarre but that was exciting there okay and she's got these little silver studs molded around so once again i know i'm going to keep saying molding 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 but that is so important, it's so huge to me when they include that on these women's figures because it shows that they really went the extra mile to really put the attention to detail in there now, once again, she has a little X pattern on the front with some molding there. And on the side, this chain that's raised up, painted silver. These studs are raised up. There we go. I'm going to say raised up instead of molding so y'all don't go crazy. This knee has that raised chain. I mean, just look at all the detail. It's amazing. Now, these little see-through type parts here on her leg is just a flesh-colored paint with that mesh pattern painted on. So that works fine. I think that's great. But just look at that detail. I don't even have to explain all the molding going on. There's not a whole lot in the back, just these little studs. Now her boots are something else that stands out. I mean, look at these straps. These straps are raised up. They're thick and they're painted very intricately. Even some chains on her boots. I mean, these boots are a true work of art. And there's not many times where I've said that about a women's wrestling figure as far as their boots go. So yeah, once again, this lower extremity is just awesome honestly there's not a whole lot wrong with it but i did notice that her legs seem really really skinny they don't seem as muscular as they should so that's interesting now let's do a little comparison with her basic so now we're going to compare her elite 84 on the right and her basic series 114 on the left now like i covered a million times in the intro i did give that basic a 9.5 was that too high of a score absolutely freaking lootly it's a pretty good basic but that's all it is is pretty good now I'm going to put an image of their face scans up close right here so you can kind of compare. Now obviously that elite face scan is superior in my opinion. It is nice that they have, you know, different hair sculpts to add some variation to the two figures. But it honestly looks like two completely different women. And also the attire is very similar to each other. And it's almost the same thing with the elite obviously having more detail. Down she goes. So that being said... This elite does look too small. I don't know how to explain it. Like, she's a very muscular, strong woman. And her legs are just very thin on her basic and her elite, which is a really odd choice. And she's listed as 5'7". Now, what's interesting is if you look at Bailey, who's listed at a lower weight and listed at 5'6", she stands almost neck and neck with her and actually looks more muscular in the legs and the midsection than this Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. So that's what tells me that this Ripley should be a little bigger. 
Now, that's really my only complaint, my only gripe. And I noticed that a lot of times, like with that Elite Natalia, when they add a lot of detail and intricate molding, they almost shrink it down a little bit. I don't know if it's a cost-cutting measure or what, but it's a great figure, but it definitely should be a little more thick, a little stronger, a little more muscular. But it's still pretty cool. So let's cover something that I usually don't, and that's articulation. So starting off with her head, she is on that ball type joint. However, there's not a whole lot of movement here. She can look to the right, look to the left, but her ability to go in a circle and also look up and down is extremely limited by her hair sculpt coming down in the back and also this thick choker necklace, so there's not a whole lot of head movement. Now her shoulder is on that ball, so that's great. Her upper arm has that external and internal rotation. Her elbow has a single hinge, so it can extend and it can flex. Her wrist has the extension, flexion, and also a little circumduction deal. And then in her upper extremity, she has that nice elite upper waist joint type deal where she can kind of go all around. Her waist can also spin right below the belt. Her legs can go in all different motions. Now in her upper thigh, she has ability to rotate. Her knee is that double hinge that we've been seeing in a lot of the elite women. So look at that. That is some flexion. I'll tell you that much. And then where she rotates in her lower extremity here is at the very top of her boot mold. So that's pretty cool. And then her foot goes down and up, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, and also rocks in and out. So the articulation on that is great. Minus the head, there's not a whole lot of movement there. And here's one last look at Elite Series 84, Rhea Ripley. So overall, I give Elite Series 84, Rhea Ripley, a score of a 9.5 out of 10. Frick, future Aaron was totally right. But in all actuality, this figure does deserve the 9.5, honestly. It is nearly perfect, and they put a lot of attention to detail in this figure, and it's just great. The only thing, and my biggest gripe that is off, is the overall body likeness. I feel like it's not muscular enough. And once again, just like her basic, they gave her really skinny legs, which is a little bizarre. So that, and a few other minor little details that are off, is the reason why it's not a perfect 10. But that being said, it's still one of the best women's wrestling figures I've seen. And certainly up there as one of the best of 2021 so far. Thanks for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and join the community for the first look at all future women's wrestling figures. Now, that being said, stay tuned to the Lumberjillville Instagram account. I'm in talks with another account, and we're going to try to find a way to do a very awesome giveaway of this extra Elite 84 Rhea Ripley that I have. Also, I've spoken with the community, and i pre-ordered the overnight shipping Angel Garza. Now, I know this channel is all about women's wrestling figures, but heck, a lot of people seem to want to see a little bonus review, so I figured why not. So very soon in the next few days, look for a little bonus review of Angel Garza. Now, this channel is a women's wrestling figure channel, but every once in a while, I'll throw some bonus figure reviews out to y'all. Have a good night.